Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a Sephora haul. What I bought last month during the Sephora VIB sale. I know it's a little delayed. I've been so busy trying to plan a wedding so and working at the same time. So I'm really happy to share the products that I purchased during this sale and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about that I purchased is this Dior Face Glow Palette. This was on my wish list for a very, very long time. I finally bit the bullet and decided to go for it. I've seen this all over Instagram and it's just such a universal palette that you can use as a blush, bronze, highlight. I'm just gonna swatch the gold shade for you guys to kind of see. I know I'm a little late to the game with this product, but look how gorgeous that is. So that's the gold shade. Then we have the bronze shade here and just so much pigment. These colors literally glide on like butter. I'm so excited to really get to play with these and use these in my next tutorial. And then there's also this like nice white kind of shade as well. So you can see all the pigment. Now definitely not a matte palette if that's something what you're looking for. These are have like a nice kind of sheen, not so much a shimmer, which is nice, but I can really see these gliding on the skin so, so beautifully. So I'm really excited to buy it. I mean, to try it. Stay tuned, I will be doing a tutorial with all the products that I did purchase. Yeah, I'm super excited to use this product. Okay, next we have another Dior product. I did purchase about three Dior products um, from this sale. So this is the Forever Glow Star Filter. It's like a foundation, but it's supposed to be liquid that's supposed to give you like a glow. Sorry, I don't think it's a foundation. You can wear it as a foundation, but I think it's similar to the Charlotte Tilray Flawless Filter. So I got the color number two. I'm just trying to put it on my hand. It's supposed to give you a glow, long wear, 24 hour um, hydration, multi-use as well. So yeah, I, I'm just trying to kind of blend it and see. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't use it as a foundation. It is very, very shimmery, but I can see how beautiful this will look on the skin. And just to give it a really nice glow. It's very hydrating. So yes, it is a complexion booster according to the website, but this is definitely something I can put as like a primer or a base or even like mix it into the foundation if you want like a subtle glow to the skin. It just gives it like a very nice sheen. I can already, I'm getting really excited because I can already see how nice this is gonna wear with that palette that I just showed. So the color 2N seems pretty spot on. I do like to go more with the warmer tones, um, but the warmer tones in this specific product didn't suit me, so I had to go neutral, and it's not really that pink. So um, I do pull more yellow, even though I am a bit fair, so I do like how this doesn't have that peachy tone, because um, that's what I was nervous about, but I did this on my hand in store before I bought it online, so I knew what color I was going for. So stay tuned for a tutorial with this product. It is a 30 ml and it was about $74, so it's not cheap. It was actually a pricier product. I was really debating buying this, because so I'm like, this is like very expensive, but um, I did really want to try it and see how it works, so stay tuned for my tutorial. Next up, I did buy also Dior. I bought the Forever, oh my God, not Forever, <laughs> the Dior Backstage Foundation. This I know is like a cult favorite. I did try it, um, my friend actually had it and it looked so beautiful on her, her wedding shower. So I was like, you know, I wanna pick one up. I got the color 1W. So it is actually a very nice formula. If you guys can kind of see, it's a very, the color's actually spot on again for me. This one runs actually a little bit more yellow, um, which I don't mind because, um, again, I liked a bit more warmth to the skin, but this is nice because it's not thick, it's very buildable, and it's just a very natural finish. So it's not gonna give you, you know, a lot of sheen. It's more, should kind of like mimic your skin. I can't see it getting super oily. But I know this is like a favorite foundation that a lot of makeup artists use. Like I said, I did use it in the past when it first came out, and I think, I'm pretty sure that it went through a formula change, so I haven't used it since the formula change, but I did do my friend's makeup, and when I put it on her, it just looked beautiful on her skin. So I was like, you know what, I wanna buy that, and I did, so I'm very excited to kind of use this as well and see how it goes on my skin. Okay, last but not least for complexion products, I did purchase this new Fenty Beauty Concealer. 
I'm just checking what shade I got here. Uh, I got the color 130W. So this is the We're Even Hydrating Longwear Waterproof Concealer. And I love how hydrating this product looks. Um, it is pretty similar, kind of reminds me of the Kosas concealer, but it also has a very smooth consistency to it. So haven't necessarily put it under my eyes yet. When I do a tutorial, you'll definitely see how it works, but I love how hydrating and nourishing this formula is. You can just tell that hopefully it won't crease, but it will leave your under eyes very soft and bright. I did actually end up repurchasing my um, Kaja concealer that I've been loving. Sorry, not Kaja. Oh my God, guys, I'm getting all mixed up today. My Tower 28 concealer, I bought, I rebought it. And for me to rebuy something, it has to be good. Like it takes a lot of effort for me to rebuy a product because there's just so much out there and I always want to try new things. So I did repurchase that Tower 28 concealer just because it worked so well for me. So I'm excited to see how this one looks. I don't know if this one will be a little bit more sheer than the Tower 28. It's cool because I also like the applicator. It's like this angled um, doe foot so it seems like it will be really easy to apply it doesn't seem like it's a really runny formula which is nice so excited to try this and I like the packaging it's pretty sleek and yeah I think it's um I think it will be a good good find so this is a 9 ml just comparing it to the tower 28 oh my god I have the box here but I don't know where the actual concealer is Oh, sorry. No, that was the lip gloss we're going to talk about in a second. This is the box of the concealer. So, oh, it's actually smaller. So the Tower 28 concealer is a 6.5 ml. So um, you do get a little bit more in the Fenty, which, you know, that's kind of shocking because I actually thought, whoops, there we go, dropping it. Um, one sec, I'm going to grab that. <laughs> okay, back to comparing. So you can kind of see the difference with the packaging and the height. So yeah, it's funny how the Tower 20 is actually a little bit less um, in terms of ML than the Fenty Beauty. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so next up we have eyeshadow that I'm going to talk about. So you probably guessed it. It is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte the Neutrals palette. Now I'm a huge lover of both of his other palettes that I've used in my previous videos. So when this one came out, even though I'm not really drawn to cooler tones, uh, but I, my, again, my other friend actually had this on her eyes and we went out and I'm like, oh my God, your eyes look beautiful. And this is the palette that she used. So again, a lot of cooler tones in this palette, all matte. I did get this shipped to me with the order and I think one of the colors did kind of break off a little bit. It didn't completely crack, but it was all over the palette when I opened it today, um, just to take it out of the box. But Again, don't doubt this product won't deliver. That's just a little bit of a swatch of one of the shadow colors right now. So you can kind of see um, the pigment this will give off. So I'm really excited to do like a nice smoky, classic matte eye look with these shades. I think they will be beautiful. I'm just gonna swatch a little bit more on my hand. It's funny, because I feel like these shades are, you know, you look at them and you're like, hmm, how much can I really do with these? But if you actually look at the undertone, they're all so different. So you get some nice transition colors, some great crease colors as well to deepen the look if you'd like, and then some blacks, browns, and navies. So super excited to use this palette for my upcoming video. I really wanna try it out and see how it wears. Like I said, I am more of a warm tone lover, so really excited to try some cool tones as well. Next, we're gonna jump into bronzer and blush. So for uh, bronzer, I got the House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I got the light level in number four. So this, you know, I love her foundation. So I wanted to kind of go in and, you know, grab the bronzer. Again, a very buttery feel to the skin. It's very smooth. I don't believe there would be a lot of fallout with this product, which is really nice. She does have a lot of shades. So for me to really pick one, I, again, I had to go in store and like physically swatch them because it was too hard to guess online for me. Uh, so I went with light four, which does seem a bit warm, but honestly, like in the summertime, once I get some color, I think it will work beautifully. Very, very smooth. So it's not a matte bronzer. There is a little bit of like a sheen. And when you put it on the skin, it actually looks a little bit more matte, to be honest. Yeah, just very, very smooth. Again, I will try this when I do my tutorial. I do have a lot of other bronzer on right now, but I like the packaging. I like the little mirror. 
gives it like a good amount of space for your face to see where you're applying the bronzer. So if you take this on the go, I think it'll work really beautifully. Um, the packaging is just so sleek and the front almost has like this rubberized um, material and it just feels really nice. So um, yeah, definitely excited to try this. And then for blush, I did go a little bit more with the high-end um, brand for blush, which I don't really do a lot of. So I did kind of splurge for this guy. This is the Armani blush. Now, the color of this, it's the Luminous Silk Glow Blush in number 51. Um, so this is an Allure Beauty Award winner blush. Oh my God, look how pretty this is super pink i think it will look really great in the summertime i'm gonna do a quick swatch with this one as well so you can kind of see just like rubbing it once and swatching it on it's a very very kind of bright baby pink it is more matte but it goes on it really reminds me of the dior backstage blush the 001 the rosy glow that i have this one it might even be a bit brighter actually I know it's hard to see on camera, but there is a bit more pink to this than the Dior one. So I'm really excited to try this one because I love, love the Dior blush. And I've never, I don't think I've ever had an Armani blush. I've only tried the Luminous Silk from them and that was years ago. I haven't repurchased that foundation. So again, I'm really excited to, you know, kind of try this. I did in my other video mention, I purchased the Hermes blush and I was kind of disappointed with that one. Kind of went on patchy and you know, I'm gonna use it cause I paid a lot for it. So I think this one will be totally opposite just because I can already tell the way it's going on my skin. So much pigment with just one swipe. So. Stay tuned for this one as well. Okay, moving on, there actually is one more eye product I wanna talk about uh, that I forgot. So this is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the color True Brown. So I was looking for like a nice brown soft eyeliner and this just looks like it's going on very, very, very smooth. I might even like put it on right now just to see how it glides. I do have the Makeup by Mario on, which is good, but I was looking for something that has a little bit more smoothness to it. So just to kind of line on the waterline. And I like how you can kind of tell it gives a very nice subtle look. I'm trying to stay away from like the traditional black eyeliners, but this one, um, I kind of like how thin it is and it's going on very smooth. So we'll see how long it wears. Um, but for the waterline, I think it's actually a perfect eyeliner. Oh my God, I hate doing this on camera. It gives me so much nerve. I had a bad experience once with eyeliner. I literally like poke myself in the eye with it and had to go to the doctor. That's how um, clumsy I am. So. Anyways, it's nice that this one is, is in plastic and doesn't have the wood around it, but it's going on pretty, pretty smooth. So just to add a little bit of like smokiness to the eye or even to do like a top wing. Again, I just put a very little amount because I kind of want to see how it glides on, but little goes a long way with this one. I'm, and I put it on my hand 10 seconds ago and I'm rubbing it and it's literally not budging. So really excited to see how this one will wear. That's actually insane. It's literally like glued to my hand. So um, stay tuned for this one as well. Again, I like the packaging. It's really sleek, easy to kind of roll up, twist up, and just the perfect amount of pigment that comes out with the eyeliner. I really do like it. And again, look at that. Not, not budging whatsoever. So that's all I have for eye products. We're gonna quickly move on to lips. So for lips, I did purchase three products. I got a lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is their Aqua Lip in the color 1C. It's just like a nice neutral surprise. <laughs> That's all I go for really. And I think obviously the Aqua line is waterproof. These have been out actually for a while. When I used to work in Sephora back back a long time ago, um, these were always my go-to to kind of recommend to people. The shades were so versatile, but again, the longevity of it was really nice. So I just put a little more on my hand so you can kind of see. So I think this will match a lot um, with a lot of like neutral lipsticks. I was really excited to kind of try a new eyeliner. Even though it's been out for a while, I kind of wanted to give this one a go. So that was the color 1C. In terms of lipstick, I did go the Makeup by Mario route. So this is the color South Shore. This is a super satin lipstick. Look how beautiful this is. So just like the perfect, perfect nude. I'm gonna put it on my hand for you guys to see. Oh, gorgeous. Like literally 
gorgeous. I can't get enough of this color. I think it will also pair really well with that eyeliner, but guys, like, this color is just, it's just speaking to me. I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's not matte whatsoever. It does have a nice satin, like as mentioned in the name. So a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I don't mind a good creamy lipstick. So um, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited to use this. I love this packaging. Again, everything today that I've kind of opened has just had a great packaging, super sleek, easy to roll. And then to close, it's magnetic. So Perfect. I really like this. So that color is just kind of what I always like to go for, more of like a pinky mauvey tone. I'm excited to use this as well. Last but not least, I have this product from Tower 28. This is their Milky Lip Jelly Shine on a Lip Gloss. So I guess it's called Milky Jelly, but it's a lip gloss. And I got the color Oat. Now I can't remember last time I purchased a lip gloss. I'm so lazy when it comes to, you know, lipstick and then adding gloss. I kind of just leave it at lipstick. So, um, but I have seen this online as well. I do love their concealer. So I was like, you know, why not try like a nice lip shade? So this one I actually will apply on top of my lipstick right now. I'm wearing a MAC, um, MAC lipstick. So I think this one's a bit more, it's a clearer color. So I think it should be okay, but let's try it. Very hydrating. I think that kind of just like brought my lipstick um, more to life. Just trying to see if it like transfers on the teeth. Oh, it's super hydrating. Not sticky, buttery, smooth, and pretty lightweight. And I like how I went with this color because I think it will match a lot of lipsticks that I do wear. So yeah, I actually like it. Gave it like a nice sheen. Didn't transfer onto my teeth. I find that happens sometimes um, when I do lipstick and then gloss on top and then just gets all over my teeth and gross and I hate that, drives me crazy. So yeah, this is actually a really nice product. Super impressed with this guy. It's not plumping, I don't, I don't believe this is a plumping gloss, but it's just very hydrating on the lips, which I like because my lips are always dry. So I actually recommend buying this product. I think uh, retail wise, this guy was $22. So again, not too bad of a price point for a lipstick. I know, for, sorry, for a lip gloss, should I say. Um, it's actually pretty cheap uh, compared to some other brands. So yeah, definitely like this and the packaging super simple almost reminds me of like, I don't know if it can kind of focus for you guys. Uh, reminds me of like the Buxom lip glosses, how they had this kind of like transparent color. Who remembers those, right? Uh, transparent packaging, should I say. So yeah. Okay guys, and that is it for my Sephora VIB haul. Please stay tuned as I will be posting some more videos with the products I purchased, doing different makeup looks. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more beauty related content from me. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.